Elsewhere, the National Assembly and the Senate now have less than 30 days to find a middle ground on the Division of Revenue Bill after both houses published the names of their representatives to the Mediation Committee. Chief Justice David Maraga directed the parties to report as soon as possible on progress made even as it emerged that the second attempt may run into headwinds as both parties plot to stick to their hardline positions. Chemutai Gowin reports. With the one before this court, they, they, they there seems to be no end in sight for the dispute over division of revenue bill. The Supreme Court once again taking a step back from involvement on the contentious issue. There has seen workers in six counties strike over delayed salaries. This court is ready and willing to give an advisory opinion in this matter as soon as possible. It, however, cannot do that until the constitutional process under Article 113 is completed. Please do not allow devolution to be present because the circle of mediations and mediations. Maraga said the court was cautious not to violate the constitution, urging the houses to work under the 30-day period provided in law. You don't have to take the 30 days that are there in the constitution. Finish your process as soon as possible or if you, if, if you are unable to resolve, report to court. The Council of Governors and Commission on Revenue Allocation insisted that the court comes up with constitutional principles that will guide the division of revenue process in future to avert the crisis being witnessed. Notable changes in the Mediation Committee saw the number of representatives in both houses go up from five to nine. The 18 will comprise Majority Leader Eden Duale, Minority Leader John Buddy, Majority and Minority Whip Cicely Marire and Junette Mohammed. Also joining them are Kimane Shongwa who chairs the Budget Committee, Kitwe Central Member of Parliament Dr. Makali Molo, Kipipere is Amos Munya, Meshimbok of Likoni, and nominated MP David Sankok for the National Assembly. The National Assembly has indicated that it is ready to begin sittings as early as Tuesday. The Senate has Mohammed Mohamud, who chairs the Finance and Budget Committee, Johnson Sakaj of Nairobi, Charles Kifiro of Kirinyaga, Makwenis Mutula Kilonzo Jr., who is a member of the committee, Narok Sledama Olekina, Okongo Omogeni of Nyamira, Professor Margaret Kamaru of Wasengeshu, Mithika Lenturi of Meru, and nominated Senator Rose Nyamunga. Manumano yanaendelea. Sisi tukotayari. Kuzungumzia jambo hili kwa sababu katiba lazima imarishu. While the National Assembly has proposed a 316.5 billion shilling allocation to counties, the Senate is insisting on a 335.6 billion allocation. With the sibling rivalry between the National Assembly against the Senate bound to intensify even as the Mediation Committee begins its sittings, it is apparent that counties may have to wait a bit longer for the resolution of the Division of Revenue stalemate. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, at the Supreme Court Buildings, Nairobi.